Hi, I'm Sir Class, and you're welcome to another tutorial. And on this tutorial, I'll show you how to use one of my favorite vocal mixing plugins out there right now, which is the Vocal Rider um, plugin by Waves Audio. And I love using this plugin because it helps control the dynamics. Well, I still use my compressor, but this kind of like helps me automate some parts that I would have gone to do manually. Like it's kind of like an automatic automation. You just set the levels and you automate it for you. So I'm going to show you how I use it. So hit the subscribe button for tutorials every day and i'll give out freebies like packs loops which you can get in the description below you hit the links to get free packs and free loops and also hit the subscribe button and let's get started yeah vocal rider is a transparent way to control the dynamics so in the um vocal rider we have um, a couple of parameters here which i'll go through here we have the range now the range just telling the compressor okay um how much um, space do you want to allow do you want to allow uh, to be very flexible or to be very fixed then here we have um this moves automatically with the range so if i set the range down here to move with it you can see how so you see it's at zero now because the um audio feeding it is at zero so if i control it so somewhere here for example i can even make it lo slightly louder by taking it here so you try and pull up all the audio to that level so we don't really want to pull up the audio we just want to control it control the dynamics at the natural level is coming in at next we have the targets now you're trying to tell it um how much how strong kind of like almost like a threshold kind of like how much should you work within that target that you set it like this is the range so how much you want it to fix to fixate itself on that target or to work towards achieving that target do you want it to be um almost um transparent or you want it to really work hard so I like keeping the target at neutral most times. So although you see the audio feeding in through here when it's playing, then I like setting, I like leaving this neutral. In case maybe open your side music is all the way up. You can turn the music off. We, we just want the vocals. We don't want, want to focus on the vocals. I leave it, I usually at slow and open it. So I, take, I keep it at fast so I can monitor in real time what is going on and make um, the, the appropriate um, changes. So we we'll listen to the vocals without the vocal rider and then we'll add the vocal rider and see what changed. All right, so let's listen. Malo, malo, go pa mi, jowa, malo, malo, go pa mi, oh. Waiting and photo for you, you, you. All my money I give to you, you, you. Alright. Alright, so, in this region here, let me use my select tool. So, in this region here, and this region here we have um a slight drop in level just slight drop so that's why i don't use this vocal rider for drastic changes i use it for slight changes so we have slight drops here and here so the vocal rider just helps to perfect that without me having to cut this apart then adjust it and everything and overall since i have several about three different lead vocal parts coming into one part so i need them to be even i need them to be level so the vocal rider also helps with that. So what I'll do is I'll listen, then I'll make changes accordingly by setting the range first of all. You say you love me, baby, but we no say na la yo. All my money I give to you, you, you. All right. All right. So let's focus on this part. Let me solo this so you hear the difference. So this is with the vocal right. I want you to focus on this part. This part here. Hear the difference in level with the end. All my money I give to you, you, you. Then let me take it off, then compare. All my money I give to you, you, you. 
So if you listen closely, you can see that the vocal rider just helps slightly adjust the loudness level because there was a slight drop in this in this particular place. There was a slight drop here again. So the vocal rider just helped perfect just that slight drop. But when I took it off, it was much more obvious. Like it went down, then it came back up with that U again. So we don't want that huge drop in in vocal part. They want it to sound as even and as level as possible without sounding unnatural. So I use this to even out um some slight changes that would have been pro like you can imagine trying to cut this little part out and trying to boost it, like trying to cut that manually like this. And do the boost for imagine like i had this problem in everywhere so it would be difficult to get that done so i use the vocal rider to just um finesse my already well set compressor so the vocal rider just helps perfect the old compression in the vocal so i, I recommend it. No, no, these levels you don't need to memorize this um level these settings i use because it's, it's it's it varies like you could set it differently for different vocal parts because that's why i use it for just my lead vocals if I had to add backup vocals here, I'm sure the levels would be different and the settings would be different. So you work according to the audio coming in and the problems you want to solve with it. So that's it for this tutorial on how to use Vocal Rider. I hope I was able to explain something um, that could be of use to you. And if it helps, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification, I upload tutorials every single day. Um, leave in the comment section, watch, let me to talk more about on this Vocal Rider because it's an interesting plugin. Oh yeah, and also have courses on Udemy. Hit the subscribe, sorry, hit the links, pardon me, hit the links in my description to, to enroll for my courses. The courses are really affordable courses that will level up your production game or your mixing game. And they are very extensive, full, full, fully packed. So if you have uh, enjoyed my tutorials, trust me, this course is, is a sure value for your money. And also I have some free packs, free loops, free kits in the description also. Download these free kits and level up your production as well. I remember our classy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button once again. Cheers.